time to build some small eats. All right, so uh, what you want to do is start off by getting some iced coffee, and then once you've done that, you can start building. So this is for both the 3.5 and the 5 inch version. And we're going to be building out the 3.5 here. And they build out basically identically. So yeah, let's get started. Start by organizing our carbon parts. So you do get an extra arm for the 3.5 inch version because it uses all the same four arms across the whole thing, where the five inch you'll just get the two front and the two back. Just as a heads up, get some hardware out of the bag. It's a really straightforward build. And then grab your tool of choice. If you don't have one of these and you have 45-ish bucks laying around, I highly recommend you get one. Or also there's the nice RBS branded tools. Okay, so what we're gonna wanna get started with is um, you'll wanna see which standoffs you wanna use for your build. It includes both the 15 millimeter version and the 20 millimeter version. So that's included with both the five inch and three and a half inch. Um, so you can use whatever you want. I like to build it out a little bit more slammed. Uh, it's a little bit more challenging to fit everything in, but it's a nice. We'll have six of each. This thing's getting really hot on my uh, little photo booth here. If it randomly bursts into flames, this will be the best build video of all time. Okay, with that taken care of, let's carry on. So I'm going to grab the longest of the screws here, and pop them in. Just gonna start with those two for now. Grab an arm, and it in like so the carbon will line up on the sides the holes will line up pretty straightforward how you want to put them in and there is no front or back to the arms as this is now a wide X frame so you can't even mess that part up so I'm just gonna very very just gonna loosely tighten these up all right I'm just making this as difficult as humanly possible. It is a really easy build. I did start off by saying that, right? <laughs> uh, take the longest screw, put it in there. Okay, so now at this point, before I move on, you're gonna to wanna to decide how you wanna build this because I like to give you options on how you build things with all the RBS frames and this one is no different. So this little key thingamajob just slips in right there and butts up against these arms. Uh, basically butts up between all four. So you can pop that in there if you want to use it, which I'm going to use it. You can also add the M2. Come on. You can also add these M2 screws in here, just separate from that, that will lock in to these nuts over here. And I just realized I didn't bring my 1.5 mil driver, so hang on. 1.5 millimeters of goodness. So I'm just gonna loosely tighten this up as well. So you can run it with only these M2 screws and the nuts holding it in place, or you can run it with only this key holding it in place, uh, no M2 in the middle, or you can do both the M2 and the key. And depending how heavy you're building it, how hard you fly, yada yada, we'll kind of just depend maybe what route we want to take. There isn't really a wrong answer though, so you do whatever you want to do. I am going to do it with both for the sake of this build, but uh, yeah, like I said, there is no wrong answer. Uh, you do want to make sure that these M2 screws, these are not nylock screws because they need to be like, super low profile. I don't know if you can see that properly, but need to be below the carbon there to keep it as far away from your electronics as possible. So yeah, they're not uh, nylock nuts, so I would either thread lock them or 
yeah, just dreadlock. And you don't want to over torque these little guys either. And honestly, they don't need a lot of torque because they are getting no, no pressure in a crash on that axis. So yeah, it's of no benefit to torque them down really tight. All right, so since I'm doing both, I will, I will put that key in there and then get the longest of the screws. Loosely tighten that up as well. And then I'm gonna forget the last arm. So to put the standoffs on, you're gonna use the shortest M3 screws and slap those on. If anyone knows what just changed in this scene, three points to you. Anywho, so uh, I'm gonna put some TPU on. This has a vertical mount built in for Express LRS receivers. using a nano camera you may need to use uh, the adapter or you can heat these up and just bend them in a bit and yeah at this point you really you just slap on your top plate and good to go so super easy build super fun quad to fly this is a wide X design I'm gonna slap this top plate on so I can take some pictures right away too yeah wide X layout it does include an extra arm in the kit should you require it And the fact that you can swap out just one at a time is really nice. Well, it makes them stronger and easier to replace too, so. But one other thing, all these extra cap head screws for your motors. But, uh, oh yeah, don't forget the uh, ice copy. size you want. Wow, okay, clearly I have not had enough iced coffee. <sighs> Jeez Louise. I will give you my recipe for my iced coffee if you want it. Leave a comment in the thingamajob below.